Hi, 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 and welcome to LNA Does Audio Stuff. So, this is the making of video of the song 90. So, for the Women's Day 2021, I wanted to create a massive YouTube collaboration. <laughs> between as many women and non-binary people, music producers as possible. So I made this call out, which was open call out. So basically I was asking for a one sample that could be anything. anything at all and I got over 80 submissions in only a couple months so that is awesome because last year I did the same thing and I only got 22 samples and I'm linking down below the video that I did last year so then together with the producers who actually produced this song with me we were 90 people who were involved in making the song called 90. So the song was produced between six producers. So the producers were So Wiley, Lil Miss Beats, Drum and Lace, Silo Area, Uli Swan and me. Also the track was mastered by the amazing, amazing, amazing Katie Tabini. The whole aim of this video was to bring awareness of how many actually we are. <laughs> like we are here and we are active and we work just showing more visibility because I wish I would have had that when I started up example. I got this idea and then I kind of like, I got everybody involved and then I realized, okay, I need to make a whole track out of this. So around 90 samples and six producers, how, how are we gonna make this happen? This is basically what happened. So I put the call out, I got the samples. After I got the samples, I pre-edited them by myself. So approximately that all of them is in the same uh, BPM as well as same scale. So after that, I delegated roles for each of the collaborators. So, so example, Drum and Lace made the drum, drum stem and one of them would make the synth so one of them would make the vocals, one of them would make the pad kind of chord design, one would be doing the instrumentalized instruments, instrumentalization, whatever that's called. In the sample pack, I dedicated which of the samples all the producers should create the stem from. By the way, the sample pack is now available to buy from the link down below and all the profits will go towards educating more women and non-binary people into audio. So check that out if you want to see what kind of samples we made. So that the producers can uh, create somehow cohesive, somehow similar track, I created a reference track which uses two of the samples from the sample pack. So they could use that as like the base or the stem. And I also took a picture of the whole structure so that they could actually be very visually clear on which part is where and yeah. So we are all in the same page. I also gave them the BPM as well as the scale that we're working on. So here we have my Ableton Live project some construction outside and the samples that many of you sent in. So I'm Little Miss Beats. I'm going to be showing you how I put together the samples that were sent to me to create the chord progression slash synth part of the track. I sometimes chose really small snippets of longer samples and I chose one main sample. So the intro, I've just got this. <laughs> Now the difference between this and this, I hope you can hear, is I'm using a little micro shift by Sound Toys and uh, the automation is just on the bypass, the bottom here. So it's essentially off and uh, tearing paper sounds and uh, let's get that, that's this little motion here. By the way, I did that just by dragging my mouse on this thing while recording automation. Okay, I've transposed it up 12 semitones on complex mode. And I've got the tremulator from Sound Toys. Without the tremulator. With the tremulator. 
after they all were finished with their stems, they send them to me. So I had five different stems to work from. And I would say it was quite tricky in the beginning because there was just so much happening. Because when you create one stem from a lot of, lot of samples, there's just, there might be just so much going on. Then I just arranged it by myself and mix it. And then I send it to mastering to Katie Talvini. Okay, so here is the whole song of it in its glory. So, so Wiley as well as Drum and Lace who did the low end kind of stuff. So we have here the drums. So I didn't, I, to be honest, they were so amazing sounding anyway. So I didn't really need to add much to it. So auto filters, drum, bass, EQ, and so on. Uh, I added some percussion and then we have the bass. So it show, shows now that there is nothing else than an EQ, but actually the, I've flattened and frozen this so many times. Okay, so the vocals, this is the silo area that she sent me the vocal stem that she did. So the vocal stem that she sent me was actually really like, uh, she's done these really cool um, synthy sounds from the vocals, which was awesome. And I think that's kind of the basis of this whole song that there's this like atmospheric thing going on. What I did is that in some parts I doubled what's happened. Uh, so I think that yeah, so I just basically used um, some different effects for the rap situation and also cut some of them because there you could hear this the original sample there had some synths in the background so I needed to kind of cut away the beginnings of those some of the sentences so I really feel bad for the rapper because I was like sorry I might have cut some of your words away but it was just for the purpose of this that so that it actually managed to fit together with this whole song I needed to do that uh, otherwise, I also layered some vocals in here and here, and I think that is all the main vocals that I layered. Don't know how to see. So I just took the, the sample that she's already used in those parts and just doubled them up so that we can get a little bit more depth. And same here, I doubled with... And I think that's the that's the thing with everything that I, all my decisions were based on just trying to make them all fit together. So otherwise I have, all this is frozen, but otherwise I have all the pianos and keys here. So this was part done by um, Lil Miss Beats and Uli Swan. There was piano, that's for the C part. And then we have strings and strings were actually a lot of fun. So Uli Swan, I think she was uh, in charge of the instrumentals. So uh, she had already done a very cool like uh, combination of these different different cellos and strings together. And I'm just in love with the how they sound. <laughs> It was very interesting way to collaborate because it's actually for me it was more like a challenge of arrangement instead of production so for me it was more mixing and arrangement and for the other producers it was more like the actual creative using and flipping ch sa uh, samples and all this also thank you so much for anyone who was part of this project i really appreciate you and i really hope that maybe next year we can make this even bigger who knows <laughs> How fun would that be? Hey, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, please hit the bell icon and come again here next week. See you soon and have a lovely, lovely Wednesday. Bye.